Ta -da -da. What's in my little girl hair bag? All right, so before we get into what is in the hair bag, you can watch me do my little girl's hair. So as you can see, this is Josephine, and she's a pro at getting her hair done. Just reading her books and looking out the window. And uh, if there was better lighting by the TV, she'd probably, that's usually where I get them. Sitting on the couch, watching TV, it's how they sit still. And then this is just uh, a quick, little ballerina bun because she loves being a ballerina and it's kind of hard to get it right um you know so it took a couple tries but i might do a tutorial on that in the future but it's not like a professional ballerina bun as you can see it's it's like it's okay um but the bow is really all they care about so there's the bow and there's the happy face there it is oh okay so next is little Madeline and she really does not, she loves getting her hair done, but she does not like it when I take out the little hair tie or put the little hair tie in, but she loves getting her hair brushed. I don't know if you can hear them playing in the background, but such is life. All right, so here I'm using my little spray bottle and my wet brush to get the tangles out and she did not even notice that she had tangles, which is great. She's too busy picking her nose. Um, so, a uh, toddler. Let's see, Madeline is almost two. Josephine is three and a half. So, Josephine's getting close to preschool age. Let's see how Maddie does. She does start um, squirming towards the end, but nothing major. As you can see, there's a little bit of teal on her toes. I didn't get that cleaned off. She tried to paint her nails while I was doing Josephine's hair with the little kid nail polish we have and just painted her fingers teal. So three fingers did manage to keep the nail polish on once I got it all cleaned off her fingers. All right. So it's just my basic, this is my go-to for her because she doesn't sit still very easily or very long. Da da da! What's in my little girl hair bag? Well, let's start with the bag itself. It's super cute. It has a little bow handle, which I love. You know, pretty basic. I love the color pink it is. That's mostly why I got it. It's beautiful. It serves a purpose. Perfect. All right. So it's technically a makeup bag, so you can see this is where you would normally put your makeup brushes, but we are using it to hold some nail clippers and one of these little, I don't know what they're called, rat tail combs. For doing parts and for helping us with braids. I like using them in braids. Inside my bag, uh, it comes technically with a divider, so you can kind of see the little Velcro thing there. There's like a little Velcro in divider thingy, which I don't use, as you can see. I have my boar bristle brush. Magical. The girls love it. It really it gives your little scalp a nice little tingly massage feeling. Just feels really good. The girls call it their soft brush and it's terrible for detangling. Like, don't even bother trying to use this to get tangles out. Um, but I use it for finishing and doing final touches on their hair. And just, sometimes I'll just brush their hair and uh, just with this, just so they get that nice little scalp massage feeling because it's nice. Um, next is this giant box jar, giant jar of clear elastics. 
right? And they're pretty strong. They'll last the whole day and through the night and everything. And it's an actual jar, so it holds it pretty well. Now, it's not toddler proof. So yes, Madeline has opened it up and dumped it all out on the carpet twice now. And I've had to pick it up and put it back in. But look, they actually all go back in, which was a miracle. Um, there's 2,500 pieces in there. So they'll last a while, a long while. Okay. Next up are my hair bows. Now the one bag of bows I got actually was all of these. Okay, so all of this came in one. And I separated out the primary colors from the pastels because I'm a pastel person. And I saved the primary colors for holidays and stuff. So these little bows are really adorable and basic. And they have a little alligator clip on the back. You can see, see that? Okay, so you have to be careful when you're removing it so you don't like whip their hair out but it holds really well like you can just put it in their hair like that and it holds really well um okay. all right so let's take that out all right next up is probably the girl's favorite thing okay and i'm probably not going to keep them in the in the bag anymore because madeline got into this today and tried to paint her nails herself so she painted her whole fingers and i had to hurry and wash it off but it's not real nail polish it's probably just like regular paint it doesn't have any sort of fume smell like it doesn't smell the greatest but it's not like a oh fills the room with that nail polish smell or anything and it peels off it's peel off and it has all the little disney princesses on it see this one is jasmine and we have rapunzel on the purple one and we've got two pinks and two purples the two pinks have two different princesses we've got Little, um, Little Mermaid and Sleeping Beauty. Okay. And we also have a yellow one and a green one. Where's the green one? Okay, yellow and green. So you can do like all the holidays with these. I love it. Okay. So I will use this comb alongside, um, this spray bottle. So this is key for me. Uh, for any sort of massive tangle issue I need to take care of in their hair. Um, just any old spray bottle and I put in just a squirt of whatever conditioner I use and uh, warm water and I just shake it up and it works like a dream. And I say warm water because when you spray their hair with the water, they, the first thing they go, it's so cold, it's so cold. So just to cut down on the whining, I use warm water and I use a wet brush. Ooh, did I already tell you about this wet brush? I feel like I may have, but I don't remember. <laughs> okay.